you can remember back to when you were just 12 days old, can't you? Yeah. So what do you remember about yeah. that day? I remember... I... Mum was holding me and I was in... I was wrapped up in some sort of blanket and I was put on the sheepskin on the driver's seat of the car and I remember looking up at the wheel and I was curious as to as to what it actually was, but it never really dawned on me at that age yet to really go up and investigate what it was. Because, of course, uh, Janet, yes, you, you, Janet, you were there, so you can corroborate all of these mm -hmm. memories. Yes, I can. How, how, how bizarre is it for you, or when did you first realise that Becky had this incredible memory? And, and, and how strange was it when you suddenly started to understand what that meant? Well, I always knew she had a good memory for dates, for birthdays and so on, because I have a terrible memory. So if ever I needed to remember a birth date, even as a four-year-old, five-year-old, she'd say it's grandma's birthday or, or something, and she'd remind me. So it was, it was something I kind of used as a mum to get some advantage out of it. I'd always get her through the years to sort of remember dates, you know, if just remind me when someone's birthday's coming up because I'm terrible, I can't remember. So I knew she had a good memory and then I saw a news show, 60 Minutes, and they were talking about this rare ability for people who had this, you know, super memory. And I looked at it and I thought, well, I'd, Becky was diagnosed with autism and OCD when she was 15, 16. And I'd always thought, you know, oh, she's got a good memory because of her autism, it must be related. And then when I saw the people on the television, I thought, well, they're not autistic. So maybe it's something else, you know, maybe it's, and I thought they were all in America and I thought, oh, you know, so I showed Becky the, the segment and then she was so shocked and I realised from Becky's face, you know, I said, she said, you know, I said, you don't understand, do you? And she said, well, doesn't everybody think that way? Yeah. Doesn't everybody remember that way? I said, no, sweetie, we don't. And, and it was old, just Janet, her how, shock. And how old was, was she when, when that happened, when you saw that show? We saw that. Well, he had to was ask 21. Becky. There you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she was 21. And what date was it, Becky? What date? Um, Sunday, the 23rd of January, 2011. You're asking someone, I don't even know my own phone number. <laughs> I know my husband's number, but I do not know my own phone number. Because you've used your iPhone I know, now. but even that's yeah. no excuse. <laughs> they, like, I, if people ask me and I had to check it on the phone, I just can't remember it. That's so it's, that's how I use yeah. Becky, poor soul. I'm just a terrible mother using her daughter. You know, what dates this one? What state do you remember? I mean, the te television broke. Actually, we've just had an incident where the microwave broke down, and I thought, well, you know, we'll have to get another one. And Becky goes, well, no, it's still under warranty because I can remember when you bought it. It's only 10 months old. And, and then I'm rummaging through cupboards, and I finally found the receipt, and she was right, yep. It's 10 months and we managed to get it under warranty, but the TV was the same thing when it needed fixing. Um, Becky, when did we buy it? You know, I had a five-year warranty and it was four and a half years ago. And Amazing. She said, no, it's under warranty. I remember when we bought it. And it's just, it's those little things that mothers have to get out of their kids. We have to have something we can use. I love it. Becky's like the, memory, the, bank. Yeah. the yeah. memory bank. The memory bank for the yep, family. She is. One of your extraordinary she abilities, is. Becky, is to recall Harry Potter novels. We have a... Um, yeah. A, a, a challenge for you this morning. This is from page 176 okay. of the Philosopher's Stone. Hermione was now yeah. refusing to speak to Harry and Ron. Are you able to complete that paragraph? Yeah. But as she was such a bossy know-it-all, they saw this as an added bonus. What chapter was that from? That was um, chapter 10, Halloween. That's extraordinary. Absolutely bang on. Thanks very much indeed. Can you remember my name off the top of your head? Your name? Oh, yeah. Can you remember my name? I meant yes. my number. Oh. <laughs>